gosh. <laughs> it is so humid out here that the lens has fogged up. You see that, guys? So humid that the lens has fogged up. Look, I, can, I can't even see you. You're all foggy. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're at the NASA Space Center. We're at NASA, guys. And we've got Craig Bernard here. He's more than graciously given his time today to, to take us around and tour. So we are super stoked and excited. That's Thank right. you, Craig. You got it, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Launch Control, this is Houston. We are go for launch. Let's go. Where are we going, Craig? Uh, we're going right here to Building 9, which is the Space Vehicle Bunk Up Facility. Awesome. Oh, awesome. That's awesome. Let's do it. Let's go. of the space shuttle uh, mock-ups that we had. This whole building used to be dedicated to it, uh, slowly to become space in, and now uh, kind of future exploration. Um, but uh, this trainer allows you to kind of get a feel for what part of this space shuttle was a habitable volume. One side. So the space shuttle itself is big, right? But most of it was just the cargo bay. So what we're going to go into is the flight deck and the mid deck, and, but they also had a little tiny airlock that they could go into, and, and uh, they would use uh, they would dock to other vehicles on the top there. They uh, docked with uh, the Mir space station, and they docked with space, our International Space Station. Okay, guys, I'm going in the shuttle. Going in the space shuttle. We're in the space shuttle. So you're in the mid deck right now. And uh, the mid deck has a bunch of stowage lockers and this is where they would fix their food and eat. Ah. Yeah. Don't, don't astronauts eat powder or hard stuff? Uh, let's see here. A lot of it is um, freeze dry. Yeah, freeze dry. Yeah, and you have to add water 
uh, to it. So there's some of that, but also they take regular food and package it like those uh, Pringles potato chips you have. So is it kind of so is it kind of like on Earth how you have to put um, hot water and ramen noodles before eating it? Exactly. A lot of the food is like that. We were talking about sleeping. Is this a... Oh, that's a sleeping bag. It sure is. All right, children. It's time to get ready for bed. Getting ready for bed at a regular time is one of the most important habits you can learn. <laughs> okay. Yeah. See, look how tiny it is in here. And then that's the cargo bay, right? Yeah, but this that's is... That's the airlock. Airlock. Yep. And so if you think about it, this is the landing position, right? But the uh, launch position is 90 degrees, and the nose would be pointed up. What you talking about, Will? And this mock-up actually has the capability to oh, rotate cool. to the launch position. Let's go, guys. Up to the flight deck. Up to the flight deck. So this is where the pilot and commander would be for launch and landing. I call the captain. Yep. And uh, both of them were capable of uh, doing all the operations they needed. Mm -hmm. And they were full-fledged pilots, but uh, the commander was kind of in charge. You know, if you had your space suit on, I think this would be a tight fit. Uh, yeah, that's right. Early in the space shuttle program, all they had was a helmet that they would wear um, for uh, just a airflow. All the windows and yeah. controls, these are for the robot arm that they have in the high base. Oh. So uh, they would have an arm there that could grab things and uh, deploy satellites. Wow, you were just in the cockpit of the space shuttle. I know. It's awesome. I'm coming out of the shuttle, guys. Go. No. Put this on the side there. Oh no, I'm never going to get out. That's alright, that's alright. You want to stay here anyway, right? Kind of. That is down there. Ah, I'm stuck forever. So you saw the space shuttle. That's how we used to get to orbit. Right now we don't have any vehicles to take people to orbit, so we are buying rides on the Russian vehicle. It's called the Soyuz. New Paroshki. Nimnoga. And they've been flying the same system since Apollo era. They found something that worked and they stuck with it and they do minor upgrades over the time. If you take a look inside there, they actually fit three people wow. inside there for a launch and landing. Wow. And it is tight. Where's the third person go? Oh, I see one, two, three. <laughs> wow. And it is shoulder to shoulder. You to shoulder. are going to be friendly with your. You have to be fine with confined space. Is this the only facility that has these training? Uh, let's see. And are here. these the real trainers? These so, aren't just for touristy things. This is the real stuff. This is the real. This is the real. So this is the Japanese experiment module, the Gem. And like I mentioned, we have an airlock, 
so we can put things in here. We can slide them out, grab them with the robotic arm. They have windows where they can watch it, um, and they can control it from the ground. There are some uh, plant growth experiments. Uh, they've grown flowers and uh, lettuce. Um, and I think they, they're doing some dwarf wheat now. Hey dad, look, it's a sleeping thing. This is their room. On Space Station, they get their own little personal space. And this is it. Usually you have uh, two computers in there. One's kind of a work computer. The other one is a personal computer. Uh, and uh, they do actually have internet access, but it is very slow. Kind of like Southwest Airlines is <laughs> Wow, this is a small room. It is, that's right. Is that wow, picture of like the family and stuff? Or yep, you'll yep. Look, you can personalize it however you want. There's you a pictures of families. Uh, There's a doggo. And you get two laptops in there usually and a sleeping bag, and that's about it. is our Orion vehicle. So this is a NASA built system that is going to take people uh, back to the moon and on to Mars. Generally it involves picking things up and putting them in other places. And this year they had gears and balls and uh, sometimes with blocks. and understand how we're going to do planetary exploration once we go back. Every good vehicle needs a couple of them. <laughs> That's your toilet. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay guys, check this out. No matter how you roll it, NASA's always pointing up. Cool, this can go sideways. This car can drive sideways. It can drive any direction you want. Oh, I know what this is. So the fancy name is manned maneuvering unit, but it's a jet pack for our spacesuit. So this is when you see them floating in space outside yeah, the vehicle? Yeah, an iconic photo of a spacesuit with nothing but black behind it. Yep. That, that That's what they're attached to. This is what you right. propulse yourself we'll around with. See, look at the sticker. See? This is what it is, right here. So this is Robonaut R2. R2-D2, where are you? So this is second generation Robonaut, um, and they actually have a version of this that flies on the space station. Hey guys, so we just went to the Johnson Space Center. Until Parker and I see you again, go out to the Johnson Space Center. Bye. Until we 
see you again. Go out. Be positive and change the world.